Hey now, it's Mark. Thank you for tuning in to my Mr. Grooves follow-up from my Race Grooves 2019 J unboxing video. I was lucky to get the HW Armor Truck, which is the basic treasure hunt in the case. Had a uh, Circle Flame logo right there, and you can see it behind the car, Circle Flame logo. Congratulations. This symbol means you just found a collectible treasure hunt car. Now, this casting has been changed. I'm going to show you how it's been changed. Now, the J case did have a super treasure hunt. I was lucky to get the uh, Corvette racer. Uh, the only thing is, I did not have a the regular version to compare it to. The regular version wasn't in the case. That's just a regular car. Mass-produced, regular car. This treasure hunt, these two are not in every case. Sometimes, look, I got one of each, you know, but you won't get two, you won't get two, you might get none, you might get one, you might get one. That's uh, treasure hunts are randomly inserted, okay? Now, let's go ahead and compare the two, because uh, I found this one in the store, so I picked one up. I said that they had a lot of graphics on top. I would not be surprised if the basic regular version did not have uh, the graphics on top. Well, it sure does. Got a, got a whole lot of graphics, but the difference, you can see that one is a cherry red and the superized version of the 98, 69 Corvette Racer, uh, the superized version is decorated with Spectra Flame red paint, not this bright red paint. Not only that, it has a TH logo on the fender right there, TH. That is not here. Mm, I did not check to see if there was any extra graphics. Nope. So look, it's just a superized version of this car. Might be in the case, might not. Uh, this car, this car is going to be in multiple cases. I would not be surprised if this shows up. Uh, this is the uh, J case. I would not be surprised if this shows up in the K case. This? Nope. It might be in one case, and that's it. It's gone. Speaking of super treasure hunts. I was going through my pile and I found this 76 Greenwood Corvette Super Treasure Hunt. This one is from 2014. Here you have on the top, 2014. It's not the same car, right? It's a different casting. But I, I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, interesting. They had the same spokes. Same, uh, pretty much the same spokes, same wheels. Looks very, very similar. Now this one uh, has the gold circle flame logo behind the car or model not like this one it has silver plus the text this one it just has the gold circle flame logo but that system has changed over the years this one right here it did have the spectra flame paint it did have a th logo on the trunk right there uh, i did not bring the regular anyways let's move on 2014 i showed you but it, it has a uh has nothing behind the car. There is no gold circle flame logo behind the car. They did not do that in 2014, but uh, they did use it for the basics. Here's a, a picture that I borrowed showing, you can, <laughs> poison arrow, you can definitely see the text behind the car, in the, behind the airplane. Uh, is it an airplane? A jet? Anyways, model. You can see the text behind but for the Supers, uh, same year, 2014, they did not put uh, text behind the car. Why? I don't know. I have, it's something I really don't keep track of. By the way, Poison Arrow, that was the answer to one of my uh, five-pack videos that I showed. Which model in that five-pack was uh, a treasure hunt before, and it was that Poison Arrow. By the way, before I show these new models, mm, Brian Artillery... This was actually in the last case, in the H case, but I thought it was a really good comment, so I wanted to make sure it got noticed. I did a video talking about buns of steel and the casting change. It lost, it lost its shakes in the back. <laughs> it used to have these big shakes sticking up out of the back. Uh, that's okay. It looks fine just like this, but if you like those big metal pieces of metal sticking out the back, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's another casting change. But Brian noticed that, guess what? They forgot to take the pipes out of the artwork. <laughs> yeah, you can see them right there. You can see the exhaust pipes or the shakes right there. 
Yep, you got shakes in the picture, but don't have shakes on the model itself. Now the three new models of the case. I did a feature video on this, so I'm not going to be opening up the Diora 3, but I'll open up these two. Plus, don't forget, I'm going to show casting change with that. New for 2019, Diora 3. Here you have the this third generation of Hot Wheels Classic Cruiser uses electric power to juice up millennial beach lovers. Check out the twin surfboards loaded in the back along with a Super Aero e-bike. Notice the func notice the focus on e electric. Well, same with the uh, Tesla. Yeah, Mattel is uh, definitely looking to have more electric vehicles in their lineup. Tesla Model 3 dual motor electric technology propels the performance version of this fastback sedan to amazing speeds. Boy, I read that really choppy. Model 3 has so much instant torque, it only needs a one-speed transmission. I will be opening up this one. So it's interesting, two new models in the same case. Uh, two, two new models from this case are electric powered. And this one is not, it's definitely not electric powered. Custom 18 Ford Mustang GT, new for 2018. The other two had that logo, I just didn't show you. See, right there. Custom 18 Ford Mustang GT. Adjust the front spoiler and speed through crazy loops. Flashy styling, a roof length air scoop, and a strut mounted rear wing make this Mustang a horse of a different color. Speaking of color, do you like the Golf graphics? I very much like the graphics. Let's go ahead and open it up. Do you think that the car companies, uh, the die cast companies, are making too many Golf models? Uh, I like it. I'm not complaining. I like how they made the running board orange. Does that have an orange base? Yeah, it sure does. Orange base. And you can see the splitter in front is black. That's because they did give it the special feature. You want to race, you put it like this. You want to do loops, you put it like this. I have not been checking these, but there was a time to where these were not working very good. What was that model? Not altered states. Uh, start, I think it started with an A. But man, you, you try to pop the thing and it would boink and go right back in the other position. This is fantastic. We'll go ahead and display it like this. There you can see the spoiler is part of the body. That's pretty much what, can you, what you're going to get now in the basics. No more separate spoilers because that's labor cost for somebody to pop that spoiler in. Uh, that's okay, you know. People only want to spend a buck, so what are you going to get? You're going to get something that uh, costs a buck. And there's a look at the racing stripe on the hood. Number 19. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Tesla Model 3. Those wheels are okay. They look better on some cars compared to others. I'm not sure about this one, but hey, to eat your own. Uh, to eat your own. No, to eat your own own. Uh, those are painted on headlights. They are not part of the plastic interior. I mean the glass or the interior, as a matter of fact, does have taillight decorations. Whereas the Mustang did not get any uh, taillight tampos, but it got the tampos on the top and the sides. This one got tampos on the rear and the front. Take a look at the roof. You can see right in has a left hand drive and metal body so it's going to have a plastic base Tesla Model 3 production code M05 the Mustang GT as well M05 is the production so it's produced the fifth week of 2019 that's what the M stands for let me grab my super because the supers aren't always made uh, on the same week so a lot of times they seem to be made before well, it's going to be pretty hard for me to get the right glare on here. Uh, M03. See, they made the Super two weeks before they even made the new models. Let's go ahead and take a look at that armored truck. Here is uh, the classic version from some time ago. Uh, I think it's so old, I don't think it has a production code on the base. Uh, I don't see any. As far as uh, the SWAT, the armored truck, what do they call it? They called it the HW Armored Truck, 
M05, no name on the base. Here's the casting change. It's a solid body, but uh, a long time ago, or I don't know how long ago, see, it had a little opening door. You can uh, stick your money in there. Well, you know, maybe a marble or a couple little beans or something. Another thing to note, look along the uh, bottom edge there, 8, 5, 18, 1, 12, 4, 1. If you do the alphabet and you count up for each of those letters, you'll get the name Geralda and Mike Geralda, Michael Geralda. He was a Mattel graphics designer for many, many years. Hey, I did not do the code for that 14, 15, 1, 8. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. That would be A-H. I can't. Oh, 13 is M. N Noah. Noah, a little code for one of the kids, one of the sons, I think, of the designers. They put Noah on some of the Hot Wheels models, and that's what it's from. One of their boys, I do believe. That's the story. If you're an old timer, uh, share, okay? But uh, it's okay if this model doesn't have the opening doors. It's, it's fine. It's fine like this. In the description, I'll have my case unboxing playlist and other interesting information for you. Also on Mr. Grooves, I did my collection video for the Toy Story character cars. I also did a special track time performance as well. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting and have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.